I'm George Rocha, Vice President of Local 628, Knock for Firefighters. Uh, we're here today in front of Station 14, um, conducting our, our annual Fill the Boot Drive. Uh, we've been doing Fill the Boot now for about 20 years or so. And uh, you know, this is how we raise money for uh, local charities. Uh, annually, we donate to the Ronald McDonald House in New York City, Valhalla, Westchester. Um, we also give to Elizabeth Seaton here in Yonkers and Maria Ferrari up in uh, Westchester, Valhalla. This year we're, uh, we're donating to the Afia Foundation um, in efforts to, to help them raise funds to uh, aid the victims in, in Puerto Rico. Um, I'll let them talk about their, their foundation. The Afia Foundation, I'm Danielle Buten, the founder, and this is Sarah Schuyler, also a Yonkers resident, um, who's our director of operations. And what we have done since the hurricane in Puerto Rico in the U.S. Virgin Islands has been to pack over 25 private planes of supplies and get them to folks in need in Puerto Rico. And most significantly, the Yonkers firefighters have been unbelievably helpful and supportive in purchasing supplies and items that are needed and items that are being requested from folks on the island. And they have been in our warehouse helping us pack, helping us purchase supplies, and we are forever grateful to these amazing folks. Daniel, one question. If somebody wants to donate to your uh, organization, how can they reach you? Easiest way to donate to support our work in Puerto Rico and the U.S. Virgin Islands is to get on our website, afiafoundation.org, A-F-Y-A foundation.org, and just click on the donate to us and support our work on the islands, and every bit makes a difference. Thank you. George, many guys from Yonkers, they don't know, they want to donate, but they don't know where to go. So if they're ready to donate and want to come and make their donation, where should they go? Just take a ride up Central Avenue, northbound or southbound. Uh, we're in front of Station 14, you know, Central Avenue. Um, and just, you'll, you'll see our guys out here with their boots. Just donate. Every little bit counts. We appreciate everything. We appreciate the patience of the residents and, you know, people shopping up on Central Avenue. Dealing with a little bit of traffic, but it's all for, you know, good cause. So. Uh, stop by, swing by, you know, if you're, if you're headed up to Central Avenue to go shopping or to grab a bite to eat, you know, pass by uh, Station 14, and like I said, every little bit counts. Thank and you. uh, you're going to be here from today too? Yes, we'll be here today, Friday, uh, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, we usually set up around 10 in the morning and, you know, close down right around when it starts getting dark, so maybe about like 5 o'clock. So guys, come on down and help out. It's a good, uh, good cause. Come and help out. Thank you, George. Thank you. We have here Jose, a retired fireman who was stuck in Puerto Rico when it happened. Jose, tell us a little bit about it. Well, uh, I happened to go down to Puerto Rico on September 10th uh, to, to deal with my father's illness. Uh, he was actually put into ICU, so he was pretty sick. And um, unbeknownst to me, uh, uh, Hurricane Maria was, was fast on the approach. And I really just went down to Puerto Rico to be with him several days. But unfortunately, I got caught up in the, the hurricane, which was one of the most tremendous hurricanes they've ever, ever seen in their history. And I was basically uh, stuck on the island. And uh, it didn't really matter because I was there to take care of my father. But the only thing that we had uh, to worry about was that Jason, my son, was getting married in two weeks. And uh, Jason and I had uh, talked about uh, you know, the situation. And uh, what made it a little bit more hard to deal with was the fact that I was Jason's best man at his wedding. And uh, so we had come to the agreement that I wasn't going to make the wedding when Suddenly, when Jason was helping Afia load up a plane in, uh, in Westchester County Airport to send supplies down to Puerto Rico, he had mentioned, uh, kiddingly, uh, to Sarah that uh, it'd be funny if he could be able to bring my father back in one of these boxes 
And he just said it jokingly, and they took them seriously. He said, what's the situation? And he said, well, my father's you know, in Puerto Rico. He's trying to get back to my wedding, which is next week. And there's no commercial flights leaving. And being that their um, private plane was headed back that very same day, they had asked Jason to get a contact with me if I was able to meet them in San Juan Airport, that they would be able to accommodate and bring me back home to be in, in time for Jason's wedding. And sure enough, that's what happened. So this is not just uh, uh, an event that uh, you gladly are helping out, but it's also a person. Correct, correct. Jason, what about you? Tell us uh, you know, a few words about what you're doing and why you're doing it. We know why, but tell us from your own words. Well, basically, it's uh, like you said, it doesn't hit closer to home than this personal story right here. And uh, we initiated working with Afia prior to even knowing they could help me out personally with bringing my father home. And it just is a proof that, you know, you know, good deeds don't go unnoticed and good people help each other out when possible. And one thing's led to another where we've just been a snowball effect rolling into different events with each other, raising funds and a lot more work to be done. And it's just, um, this is why we do it, because we can. Okay, and that's why. So just a shout out to Afia, so people know who they are. And yes. Yes, that's, uh, yeah, that's the Afia Foundation on Selma River Road. They do amazing work. But the donations are as direct as it gets. They literally hand the items to the people in need of you know, Puerto Rico, even going, they're going down to Houston, Florida, all hurricane relief. And it's as direct as it gets. You know where your money's going. And that's what makes people very comfortable. And uh, they're just a phenomenal foundation. Thank you, Jose. Thank you, Jason. Any words, that, anything that I forgot to ask you that you want to mention, Jose? Oh, uh, yeah, I would like to mention the fact that, you know, uh, throughout the years, uh, you know, my 30 years on the fire department, I've always been involved with charity work, all different organizations. And this year, through AFIA, we actually met a very good humanitarian uh, group of people who not only just help the local people, but they help people worldwide. And uh, we were very lucky to be associated with them and are looking forward to work with them in the near future on anything that they need from us. We're at their disposal. Well, thank you both. Thank you for your service, Jose. And thank you for your service. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much.